Right guys, welcome back to the channel. As you've seen, we're doing the inside today. You saw the tear down and we're just starting to fit off. The boys are gonna run a lot of the cabling and the carpet right now. I'm gonna start painting the dash because we decided last minute that we've got a lot of black in the interior. So why not make everything black? We're gonna do the roof, we're gonna do the plastic panels down through here. We're gonna do the dash. I'll probably do the dash first and the door handles. Um, to finish off the, the trim on the doors. So it's gonna be a bit of a push to get everything done before the end of the week. So let's get into it. Okay, I'm in the booth. It's a bit of a late night tonight. It's gonna be because I'm gonna get that dash black. It's a last minute decision to run a black dash and pretty much the rest of the black interior in the car. So anything that's gray is gonna be black. So yeah, late night for me because they're gonna use the dash tomorrow. Um, because it's got wire running through it. So we'll get that done. Then I can sort of take me time during the week with everything else um, and the boys can continue and I'm not holding them up. So let's get into it. Well, that took longer than what I expected, but that's normal. I don't do this every day. So what you see laying in front of you is everything that's involved with just the dash. So there's a lot of bits there, but they all contribute to what you actually see. Not what's underneath the dash, but literally what you do see. So let's get some primer on it, and then I can go straight to black and hopefully pick these up tomorrow morning. Let's do it. It's got the primer on, so just got the black to go on now. And that'll be it for the dash. Be able to pick it up tomorrow, and the boys will be able to keep on going, so. A long night. So I'm feeling a little bit secondhand from last night's spray. Late night, getting everything done. But as I was leaving, it looked a little bit too glossy. I was going for a satin look, so I'm a little bit worried. I hope that it dries more matte than it does gloss like it was last night. We're not gonna know until we go and have a look. So Maybe re-spraying. Worst case scenario, which is gonna put us behind a bit, but you gotta do what you gotta do. That's it, otherwise it's not gonna look good. And I don't want it too shiny because the rest of the car has like a, a matte finish, a suede finish, so can't really have shiny with suede, doesn't work. So let's go and have a look. Fingers crossed it's dulled off a I'm little bit than what it was. doing this for you because it doesn't really affect me too much because you're gonna have to spray it again, not me, but yeah. I will cross my fingers for you. Thank you, no thank you. Let's go and have a look. What do you think? It's definitely a little bit more glossy than our you. first sort of thought on it. I wouldn't call that a satin. That's a gloss. That's a gloss. <laughs> it's not a gloss gloss, but it's a, it's definitely not a, like proper satin. Well, as you just watched before we came here, I was here pretty late last night. And it's looking like you're going to be here for another two hours at least. As you can see, too shiny. I don't want that kind of shine. It's the kind of shine that you used to do when you were a kid on your push bike and you'd give it a go yourself. Not loving it. Yeah, I'm not 100% sold on it. I'm sorry to say, Luke. No, no, great. All good. The last coats that I did last night were dusted on from way back. And it's a tricky thing to paint, especially around here. So you get a high build-up area like this, it'll go gloss because you're putting so much paint down on it. So we're gonna have to go to a flat, and if we can't get a flat, a matte, because glossy black is not gonna go. It looks a bit polished turd. Not what we're going for. The build is not a uh, spray pack can. We can't do that to North Ballina Smash Repairs when the outside of the car is- it's Looking so head. good. The inside of the car, we've got to go to this kind of effort because uh, the boys down there did, and I know Sean and the crew from Automotive Acoustics did the same thing. So, we're gonna hold up our, our bit, Scott. So we're gonna to have to flatten it off and mat it at the at, at a minimum. I hope we don't have to go to mat because I think no, that's gonna I be I think too flat's far. gonna be fine. Flat will be fine. fine. Let's go and get some flat, get it done, and then um, that way we can stop stressing about it. The build can go on because 
it's got to be finished by the end of the week because it's got to go to ATD straight up to finish to. that part of it. So, um, any hold ups here, a hold up somewhere down the line. That's it, and we're killing, we're dying to get it all finished and go for a trip and have a bit of fun in it because that's what it's really about. So, it is. So, let's do that. So while I've been respraying the dash, Automotive Acoustic Boys have been hard at it fitting the new custom door cards and tweeter pillars that they fabricated from scratch. They've been working on them over the past few months and they've come up a treat, bringing together the black and the red from the rest of the car, coupling the speakers perfectly. The bottom section of the door cards are also filled with rattle dampening reinforcement and soundproofing to really keep the speaker sound quality intact. North Ballina Smash Repairs also decked out the flooring and the roof with the Car Builders Sound Deadening Kit. So big shout out to them boys too. Rightio, Dash is going back together. Um, the boys are smashing it. Um, Luke's still painting because I don't know whether you realise when you take on a job like this, there's actually a crap load of parts that need to be painted and they're all little. Uh, not to mention everything got painted three times so we weren't happy with the colours. Um, I think we've nailed it on the third go. Uh, so it's actually a matte paint job with a, with a bit of low sheen in it. We do have the paint code for anyone at home that wants to do it because it's one of those things that didn't turn out the best the first time so you guys can only do it once, you're welcome. But, uh, but anyway, boys are smashing it in and uh, I'm stoked with it. It's looking good, might have to do more yet. It's been a long two days, not gonna lie. Um, the interior has kicked my ass. We've coated it three times to get to a point where I'm happy with the level of finish on it. Um, I like the sheen that I got with it. So I've got a few handles to do and the roof to do, but everything else is done. So I'm dropping everything that I've done back to Sean and the boys so they can get to fitting it because we're already under the pump. So. I'm on my second trip now with it. So there's so many bits and pieces that I've had to coat. It's probably like 60 to 80 pieces of interior to actually, to get everything the way that you want it, make the whole interior black. That's what I had to do. So it is a big job. Um, if you do use that product, you want to be a good foot away from whatever you're spraying. You don't want to be nice and close with it because it, it's got a very high build out of the gun. So if you are doing it at home, you're going to use that product, make sure yeah, you get your correct distance away from the product. Coming up the driveway, FedEx has delivered. We we're a little bit worried about this package because it's the last day and the boys from Canberra. So we were worried that we were gonna actually get it finished. So I sent parts of the front door pod down to Sean and they didn't reach him before he left. So then we had to organize the freight to come back up and it's pretty much taken all week to get to this point. So hopefully we can slot that in and get it done. He's in a budget truck. Normally he's in his TNT or FedEx truck, but he's even given us enough time to do a bit of an intro. Hey, gentlemen, gentlemen. Well, I hope, it, I hope these are the parts that we're meant to be getting or that will make no sense at all. And you'll see me really pissed off. Oh, it looks like the right package. It's looking good. Thank you. You get another one? Oh yeah, that converter. Another thing we've been waiting on. Thank you. It's Luke, yep. Converter needed for another video. That'll come in handy. Rod down at wholesalers. Redid the pattern on that one um, so we could fit it in a box that we're putting in, which we normally run in the V8s, but needed the foot pattern to be changed, so thanks Rod. Much needed. Damon Q, Heavenly Music. 
Uh, hey. Got it. So, the bit in the box is this bit here. And we can't finish off that bit or put them in until we've got these bits. Have these bits now, so. We'll get these in. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be damaged because I wrapped it and there's plenty of bubble wrap there. Not that the packers don't put bubble wrap on everything. Just I made sure that there was heaps in here, so let's get it open. Checking to see whether they're all good. And they're all good. We're a little bit worried about that. Just kind of wishing Sean had to undo all of this because I was trying to make it a pain in the ass room, but turns out I did it for myself. Ooh, fancy. I like that. Okay, let's get him in. Hey guys, how's it going? Alec from Automotive Acoustics here. Just gonna give you a rundown on what we've done on the Bad Apple car so far. Starting with componentry, we've got an Alpine Halo 9 head unit, which is then running into our focal eight channel processor here, which takes any of our inputs from our head unit, cleans them up, uh, gives us total control over the system so that we can utilize the most of our componentry. Then into the back, uh, we've got two 13 and a half inch JL TW5 slimline subwoofers. Those are running off the big 1500 monoblock there. And then our Focal Utopia splits are running off the four channel eight. Going on to some of the custom fab work that we've done on our car, it's our signature automotive acoustics A-pillars. These are unique to us. We hand make these ourselves. We've trimmed these in black to manage the rest of the car and make sure that it all fits out there. Obviously these are the beryllium tweeters that you find in the Utopia kit. Coming down to the door cards, these door cards are all custom fabricated by us in-house. So we chose everything, obviously there's Toyota parts, but the trim, the beauty panel in the mutant crystal, uh, which ties into the rest of Bad Apple. Then you can see the crossover here, which separates the highs from the lows, sending the highs to our tweeters and the lows down to our woofer. Now we're up to the tuning stage in our build. This section here, which is what we've got a processor for, is to utilize the components to the best of their abilities. So we're doing time alignment, EQ adjustment, DB adjustment, phase adjustment, and that way it just sounds perfect all the time. You don't get listening fatigue. You can extract every bit of juice out of those speakers and it just ties the whole thing together. When Scotty and Luke called us, they wanted something that was next level, never been done before. And Sean and I are confident that there's never been a cruiser that's been done to this standard and this caliber ever to date. So we've got the TW5 subs, which are the best slimline subwoofer you can buy on the market. There's no way that you can get a sub slimmer than that with more output than the ones that we have here. Audio control amps are handmade in America, and along with our focals, also handmade, but in France. It's a no expensive spare job. We're really gonna hope it's gonna crank. No, that's I'm not gonna hope it's crank. It's gonna crank. knocked it out of the park. It sounds unreal. It looks unreal. It looks, I was a little bit worried about the outside looking the way that it did and that you'd pull it off on the inside, but definitely um, the black interior was a bit of a headache. Gotta say, um, there was a lot of painting. Just a bit. 
Uh, but you guys went to way more effort than what I did. Um, definitely happy, it sounds unreal. So thank you, thank you very, very much. And you're so welcome, man. Yeah. yeah. We're really happy with how the sound turned out. Final tune was mint. It was. As you can see in the video, they go to a lot of effort um, to get the kind of sound quality that this car's got. So if you're in or near the shop and you want to come and have a listen, come sit in it. I'll be more than happy to show you. Uh, where do they catch you? Instagram, Facebook, Automotive Acoustics. You can shoot us a message, get you set up with a quote, and we can come sort your car out. Definitely. Cruisers, Euros, to do it all. Whatever you need, we do it all. There but we go. do like cruises. We're a little biased. Hey, everybody does. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? Now, we'll catch us next time. Uh, we will be cruising out to Clayton at ATD. You've seen the bar, mate. It's, it's up there. These boys didn't let it fall. So we'll put uh, all the steady lights on the bar. Um, I'll probably have to take them out. Clayton's going to have to put them on. Uh, but that's where it's going next. We'll catch you next time.